Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com. Today we're going to be talking about how to hide files on Mac OS X. Alright, before I get started, I want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Daniel Moore for throwing together that intro that I'm going to be using going forward on the videos. I always appreciate it when the community submits stuff for me to use. And with due credit, of course, you can check out his link in the video description down below. All right, so let's talk about how to hide files and folders on Mac OS X. I'm also going to be doing a series of these for other platforms like Windows, Android, etc. So stay tuned for those. That being said, let's jump into step number one for you to hide your photos, documents, videos, I don't know, whatever it is you're trying to hide out there. I'm just here to show you how. First off, hiding in plain sight. I know this sounds stupid and to be honest, it kind of is, <laughs> but some people prefer to do it this way. You can hide it on your desktop. You can hide it on whatever. You can name it some weird name. Uh, obviously, you can see here, these are not the files you're looking for. I have these documents that I don't want people to see. Now, a method that some people recommend doing on Mac OS X to kind of hide it in plain sight, quote unquote, is hiding it in what's known as the library folder. Go into the Finder, type in Command Shift G, and you're going to see here you have the option to open up a folder here. Type in tilde slash library, hit go. This is a folder that is essentially not displayed normally to Mac OS X users, so it's not something that people can easily just find here on the left or most people don't really know about since it deals with a lot of system-based files. So some people like to store folders in here for whatever reason. So if you want to hide something in a library, it's kind of like hiding something in a book, uh, quote unquote. So you can you can uh, hide it in here if you want to do that. That's 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 a method. Method number two kind of also acts as a security measure. If you open up your system preferences, go into security and privacy, there's actually a feature built into OS X called File Vault. This allows you to secure data on your disk by encrypting its contents automatically. So you can walk through this whole process on OS X that supports File Vault. Right now I'm on Yosemite, for example. This will secure your drive completely with a key or your iCloud account so only you can access it. This is also a great way just in general to keep your files secure and safe. However, also acts as a way for you to just secure photos documents, etc., that you don't want other people to have access to. Number three, of course, is to uh, use third-party software. You can use third-party software like Hider2, which is a really polished app that allows you to essentially store data privately. Now, that in itself, having an app like this, obviously it kind of shows that you're hiding something. However you want to do it, it's $10, this app. It's really polished. There's a free trial to try it out for 15 days. I'm going to go ahead and showcase this one really quickly here. You can see Hider2 is this little vault. You put in your password that you are set up in the beginning here, and it will unlock your files if I can spell it correctly here. And then it, you can essentially just drag in files here, secure them. You can secure notes, whether it's banking information, whatever easily within here you can drop photos, documents, videos, and easily just lock them away from prying eyes. Now another alternative is a software by Altomac. This is completely free, however it's not as polished and it isn't as updated frequently for OS X, but it is free. You can try this out and it's actually really simple to use. So hide folders works by you dragging in files here, for example. I'm going to go open up my finder window here. So I have a test document that I set up in here. If I click it here, I can simply hit show and you're going to see in the finder it's going to automatically display the file right here. I hit hide. It hides the file, that simple, that easy. But it can also have it require a password. And all you have to do to put files in is just drag them in. So I can drag this folder in here, for example, choose whether or not I wanna hide these files or show these files. It's completely up to you. So super simple, super easy, and what's really cool, it also, if I hide the file, it doesn't allow it to be indexed essentially by Spotlight. So completely unfindable, essentially. Of course, I'm sure there's some tricks that you can work your way around, but again, unless like somebody is really, really trying to find out what your hidden files are, they're completely hidden. All right, last but not least here, this is um, for you nerds out there who like to get down and dirty with the terminal window. You can open up terminal by searching it in Spotlight. This is essentially the, the equivalent of command prompt for Windows. Type in ch flags, plural, space, hidden, space again, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do here is you wanna drag the file or files that you want to hide here into the terminal window. So in this case, what this will do is automatically take the directory right here that the file is located at, and you can see it will automatically uh, go ahead and if I hit enter here, hide the file. So you can see here it's no longer findable within the finder. Now to unhide it, you would type in ch flags space no hidden. And then this is a little bit of the tedious part. After that space, you have to type in the directory again. So it's helpful if you have it copy or paste it, or you just kind of know it off of by heart. You can paste in the directory again, hit enter, 
and then thus the file will resume resume itself and showcase on wherever it is that you you know got the file from in this case my desktop of course you can save yourself the trouble get a browser like chrome or firefox go into it and open up that incognito window the next time you're doing whatever and save everybody the hassle and stream your content rather than downloading whatever it is that you need to hide no, but in all serious, ladies and gentlemen, uh, whatever it is that you want to hide for security purposes, privacy reasons, these are multiple methods you can do so, both free, paid, tedious, easy, what have you. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the video as well as comment with your feedback on your preferable method or non-method. Um, and that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next video.